Hey everybody, it's Caleb, and I was just on a road trip up in North Alabama. I'm, oh, about 10, 20 minutes north of Birmingham on I-65, and as I was rolling down the road, there was something that I was thinking about. How much of a modern road trip was American? I mean, you look at the automobile, which is a largely American invention. There were certainly other countries that dabbled in it, but the first mass-produced car was definitely done here in America. And so the idea of driving as being something for the masses is definitely a uniquely American thing. And then, of course, you've got, when it comes to the technology in your car, a lot of that was thought up in America. Now, y'all know that I'm a big radio guy, and it's true that other countries definitely contributed to radio technology. But the idea of radio overall is a largely American enterprise. And when it comes to broadcast, in other words, radio that's done for the masses as opposed to a one-to-one -one communication, that is something that was almost most exclusively American. We were really the first ones to be able to do that, and that's part of where my degree comes in, is studying the history of broadcasting and the history of radio. And so there's so many components surrounding being on a road trip, traveling down the interstate, traveling down the highway, that is such a uniquely American experience. And there's certainly other countries that do indeed have some of the trappings of that. And I've been around uh, in a car quite a bit in different countries, riding around in different villages to preach the gospel. But even then, what you're looking at, all of the things surrounding that, are things that were largely thought of in America. And it really does show the influence that capitalism and the free enterprise can have, long-reaching even to countries that don't necessarily have as much of a free market system as we do. But I think it goes even deeper than that. Because one of the things that I notice right down the road here, is that the most American thing about it, I think, is choice and variety. Because there is nothing more American than the ability to make your own decisions, to make your own choices. I mean, I'm looking around, and you can probably see some of the cars whizzing past me in the background. I'm seeing sedans, SUVs, minivans, pickup trucks like mine. And... There is something so incredibly individualistic and something that is ruggedly free about that. The open road, you can go anywhere that you want to, and you can do so in a vehicle that you can purchase that more or less suits you. And I'm not even just talking about things like the color. You know, if you've got a trucker driving down the road, he's doing that for work. If you've got a guy like me in a pickup truck, it's a utilitarian vehicle. It says something about who you are. The same thing could be said for a family that's all loaded up into a van or a minivan. The same could be said for a person that wants to have a luxury view. And my point in all of that is, this is something that is ruggedly individualistic. And it amazes me that the left has such a disdain for things like this. You know, when it comes to people that are concerned about the climate, for example, and also when you consider just, in general, big government advocates, what do they always talk about? We have to get rid of our vehicles, and we all need to switch to public transportation, we need to be on trains, we need to be on buses, or whatever else, without even really realizing it, I don't think that a lot of these people consider that so many of their policies seek to rob us of our individualism. And it's funny that they always talk about being the ones that are in favor of free and open expression and just being yourself. When it comes right down to it, they don't even believe their own ideology. And I'm not saying that we should only have automobiles and, and the only reason that we should have them is because it is a form of self-expression. But that's definitely a bonus. It's definitely something that says something about who we are. And that's part of the reason that people choose the cars that they do. They pick them because 
well, there's some kind of practical use, but even in that practical use, it says something about who we want to be and who we want to communicate ourselves with with the rest of the world. And that goes for people on the right and the left. One of the reasons that I oppose big government so fervently is because ultimately it seeks to make us merely a cog in a larger machine. It seeks to reduce us to just another unit of the masses. And freedom is the ability to be an individual, to say, no, I can do it. I can be my own person. And I don't need anybody else to tell me how I'm going to get around or how I'm going to provide for myself. I don't need that. I don't need you to take care of me. I don't need to be dependent upon you. I want to be as free as the open road. My mother always said if you can't say something nice about somebody, then you're probably talking about a leftist. Nah, I kid. But seriously, it would really help me out if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm sure my mom would appreciate it.